With your indulgence, Mr. President, and with the uh, respect to the majority floor leader, I just have one question, if I may be allowed to do so, with the Supreme Court, whom I have a greatest respect for. I withdraw my motion, Mr. President. Motion is withdrawn. Thank you. I just have one simple question, Your Honor. Uh, in our investigation of drugs, the uh, issue that is beginning to uh, rise is the apparent slowness, and I've taken this up with the Chief Justice herself, in the, with respect to one judge. And it turned out that we were being given false information by PIDEA and the Department of Justice that the judges were kind of slow in uh, ordering the destruction of drugs. And as you know, under the dangerous drugs law, authored by no less than the majority floor leader, the PDEA has 24 hours to uh, examine, and then the courts have 72 hours to conduct an ocular inspection of the drugs, after which the drugs should immediately be burned. I was astounded, uh, Your Honor, uh, and forgive me for not asking your permission to uh, ask the late gentle lady. I'm now asking permission if I may ask the gentle lady uh, these questions. Uh, I was astounded that uh, this year alone, Integrated, which is supposed to be one of the contractor, contracted uh, uh, entities that would burn drugs, has only burned once. And there have been practically so many thousands of grams uh, that have been uh, confiscated, not to mention the other one. Now, this is very disconcerting, Your Honor, because we allegedly have a war on drugs, and yet I don't know if the problem is really with PDEA, but certainly the Supreme Court should make it known to all the judges that immediately it doesn't have to look over copious drugs when they're collected, when they're picked up, immediately after they've done an ocular inspection of, let's say, 360 bags out of 700, they can immediately order <coughs> the burning thereof so that there would be no recycling of drugs. Ano nangyayari po ay pinapaikot yung drugs, hindi natin namamalayan, huli tayo ng huli, marami namamatay, hindi umano ng mga drug pushers, pero yung pala mga nahuhuling drugs ay pinapaikot. In fact, Your Honor, do sa isang uh, uh, wake, nung isang gabi lamang, binigyan po ko ng envelope nung isang mamahayag na respetado na galing sa Channel 7 na ngayon ay sumusulat sa bulletin at nabigay pa ng pangalan. At ito ay pinag-aaralan ko pa na pinapaikot yung drugs ng matagal na. Matagal na racket na ginagawa yan and it is going through under the noses of the Supreme Court's judges. I don't want to say the Supreme Court, but the judges under the Supreme Court. So, is there any way we can have a monitoring of a uh, drug case? I have a proposal uh, here uh, where all cases involving policemen would be monitored, uh, and there would only be one judge in every province who would handle all police cases involving killings. Now I'm going to have to come up with a provision where all courts there will only be one court with respect to dangerous drugs so that we would know who is malingering or who is cheating or who is really uh, creating a travesty upon our laws and uh, committing dastardly acts upon our young people because they allow the constant uh, recycling of drugs. Mr. President, do you have the information now? No. Mr. President, uh, we requested for the information you need, the list of all pending drug cases in uh, various courts of the country and how long it's been pending, and the amount of drugs which are not with them but lodged with the PDEA. Is it PDEA, no? Yes. And, uh, and the NBI, sometimes. And the NBI. And the police. So, yes, and, and they will uh, give the information within this week. So that, uh, that would be helpful to your committee, and we'll see how long these cases have been dragging. I, I just want to clarify, Mr. President, when you mentioned pinapaikot, ibig sabi what, what does that actually mean, pinapaikot? Recycle. You mean? They confiscate the drugs, and the courts, uh, they will not uh, act on it. In the meantime, they're, re they're selling the drugs again. You, uh, with the help of some corrupt judges. The PDEA or NBI and police. 
Not the judges, right? Because they don't have Some custody. Some judges are involved. Oh, that's why I was asking them. So, uh, Mr. President, hola, hola. what you're saying is, uh, so first, we have to have a list of all drug cases in every court around the country and how long it's been there. And where is the evidence? Is it lodged in the PDEA, the NBI, or the police? And how long has the evidence been there? And, and third, uh, most importantly, uh, your report or allegation that some of the custodians of this evidence in the three agencies I mentioned, including uh, the judge, may know that the evidence is being recycled and sold. Is that what your honor is saying? Yes, and the judges may be remiss in their functions. Yes. If they fail to do an ocular inspection and they don't order the burning, then there's something going on. Sure. There's something... Uh, Rotten in the uh, streets of Denmark, Your Honor, as they say. Uh -oh. yeah. The problem, Your Honor, if I may, is that sometimes the judges have to go through uh, the PDEA. And sometimes, for example, in the last cases, they had about 6.4 million grams that were uh, taken. I think the COA should immediately come in and take a look at the, uh, what has been confiscated <coughs> to help the judges. I can see the chairman of the COA here. I think that's uh, also within there. I, I would imagine that the majority of the there would be willing to make an amendment to that effect that every time there is an arrest, COA comes in right away and inspects it so that you have a layering so that we know right away how many, how many drugs have been confiscated. Mr. President, I am told that while the judges issue the orders, the implementers of the orders, which are the custodians of the evidence, the PDEA, the NBI, the police, you're correct, should burn it within, destroy it within 24 hours. It. But it's not done all the time. According to the members of the judiciary present here, it is not the judges have no knowledge of the evidence not being burned or destroyed and it being recycled. However, uh, to prevent that, it would be good for the judges to have strict monitoring of the enforcement or implementation of their court orders and decision. Just like we lawmakers, it is not enough that we craft the law and bahala na kung ipatupad yung ating batas. We exercise strict oversight into the implementation of our law. And so, may I suggest, and I just told them, if they could submit to the committee, which will include in their budget, a reminder for the judges in drug cases to have strict monitoring of the implementation of their decisions or order to burn and destroy the evidence, especially in drug cases, and to have strict oversight in this um, uh, custodian institutions that have the evidence. Just for clarification, Your Honor, once you file a case in court, the judges get involved. They have to do it ocular, which means that the case is in their jurisdiction. So it yes. is within their power to call PIDEA. Have you burned it? Have you, do you have a proof that it has been burned? And if they don't do that, they don't they're do remiss. That. Yes. Um, ang nakikita ko po, Mr. President, ay hindi nila fina-follow up or hindi po nila uh, minomonitor kung pinapatupad na ang kanilang order. Because that, hindi pwedeng iabogadong kasi hindi ang yung ebidensya. Senator Gordon is correct in saying that while you claim that it is the evidence with PDEA, you are, that's your jurisdiction already. Yes. And that's your evidence. You cannot yes. claim it's the evidence of the PDEA, so we have nothing to do with that. No, that's why that's the wrong attitude. Hmm. That's why, uh, that's the wrong attitude. Hindi namin ebidensya yan, kaya haya mo PDEA. So we are requesting, earnestly requesting the judges uh, to issue a memorandum to all judges the to destroy board. their evidence within 24 hours. First, for them to give us a list of all judges uh, who have jurisdiction over court cases. Number two, for, uh, to, to match the information from the judiciary and the PDEA, NBI, and police so that we see how long this uh, evidence has been there. And third,
for them to craft a special provision for strict monitoring of the implementation of their court orders within 24 hours destruction of the evidence, as Your Honor has stated. Mr. President, Majority Leader is recognized. Mr. President, Senator Gordon, Senator Ligarda, uh, as mentioned, yes, I am the principal author of uh, Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, but this particular amendment and this particular uh, provision in the in the law was introduced by the minority leader. So with their intelligence, may we hear the minority leader on, on that particular provision itself, Mr. President? Senator Drillon is recognized for Thank his you. intervention Thank on this you, issue. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, we confirmed the statement of the majority leader that we did insert this particular provision because of our experience uh, as Secretary of Justice when uh, uh, you know we were trying cases in the lower court. When the contraband is presented as evidence, kulang na po, kinain daw ng daga. Yes. Kaya, uh, the reason it was that experience, and, and I am sure, Justice, Justice Peralta is smiling, but as prosecutor in Manila, he has gone through similar experience from PDEA. That is why we inserted this particular clause in the law, which says, and let me quote uh, briefly, it says, after filing of the criminal case, the court shall, within 72 hours, uh -oh. conduct an uh -huh. ocular inspection of the confiscated, seized, and or surrendered dangerous drugs, uh, uh, plant sources of dangerous drugs, controlled precursors and essential chemicals, including instruments or paraphernalia and or laboratory equipment and through the PDEA shall within 24 hours thereafter proceed with the destruction and burning of the same in the presence of the accused. So first it is very clear that within 72 hours the court should conduct an inspection uh, within, within 72 hours after the case, after the information is filed. And within 24 hours from that inspection should already proceed to destroy. And I confirm the statement of Senator Gordon that indeed uh, there's a lot of recycling going on. Uh, that is why every hearing, every budget hearing of the PDEA, this representation would always ask for the inventory of the drug case, of the drug, uh, of, of the drugs in the possession of PDEA and we are always alarmed at the volume of, uh, uh, of, of, uh, contrib of goods, of, of, of drugs, which are stored in the PDEA for years now, which brings to mind, we know on the record of the Senate, there are 604 kilograms of shabu recently confiscated, plus another 800 uh, that were confiscated in December. Uh, as being investigated by the Blue Ribbon. Uh, you know, we are all in the, we, in the absence of information, certainly we are concerned as to how much of these drugs are still, uh, 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 ca can be recycled. In fact, uh, Mr. President, after the destruction, the law also specifically provides that the board, meaning the, uh, the, the Dangerous Drugs Board, shall issue a sworn certificate as to the fact of destruction or burning uh, uh, which the certification is submitted to the court. I am sure, uh, Mr. President, that, that I am almost certain that if you look at the court records of these hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, drug cases, you cannot find the certification as part of the folio because this certification, I suspect, I suspect is that being submitted and therefore the drugs are still there and this can be seen in the annual report of the PDEA and uh, the, DB, the Dangerous Drugs Board what? where they list the number or the volume of drugs in their possession. Very dangerous Mr. President and uh, as long as this continues to prevail then I am afraid that uh, this is one facet of the drug problem which is not being addressed and uh, which is a, a low-lying fruit, so-called, yes. which can easily um. be addressed.
Mr. Thank President. you, Mr. President, for uh, allowing us that intervention. Uh, th that's very important. Thank you, Mr. President, for um, citing Section 4 in Republic Act 9165. And um, I am informed that the 72 hours uh, deadline for the ocular inspection is being complied with. However, I am also informed that it is their belief that the 24 hours deadline for the burning rests or is the responsibility of the PDEA, but perhaps what they could do is to make sure that the PDEA actually implements this, because there could be an ocular inspection, but if the burning is not monitored by the court, so it would be useless. Um, and so we will ask the judiciary to submit, please, the list of all pending uh, drug cases and the compliance a matrix, the compliance of the 72-hour ocular inspection and the 24-hour burning. And we will verify this with the list of the PDEA, the PNP, or the NBI, wherever the evidence is uh, located. And we will also ask for the sworn certification, <coughs> if any, because the minority leader has mentioned, in some cases, the certification is not present. So the judges must have a copy of this certification, right? It should be on their file. So that will be part of the submission. Your Honor, um, I, I will finish already. But anyway, I want just to give you a, an eye-opener here. There are years when the PIDEA has not burned anything. In violation of 9165. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. They, they go to integrated, for example, and in integrated in 2017, until August, they've only burnt once, 141,776. But the PIDEA inventory remains at 1,871,000 grams. Wow. Wow. Yes. Why are they not burning? You may as well faint, Your Honor. Mm. We might have had the headlines if we all faint here to know One that this is not being undertaken. There must be a return by PIDEA to the courts and to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court should keep an eagle eye over all these things uh, so that the public will be safe. Now, look at the inventory in the past. Uh, uh, 2013, uh, zero for clean leaf, 16,000 for integrated, and there under the custody was 81,000, Your Honor. Solid is 1,067,000, and they burnt only 83,000. So it's very, very clear. I would be very happy to give this to the Supreme Court uh, representatives so that they themselves can daily monitor and maybe have an assigned justice just for drugs in every branch uh, so that we would know who is fooling who. There has got to be an organization behind this that is undertaking it. Either the judges are intimidated or the judges are bought and the PIDEA is in cahoots. Yes, it's right here. One million grams. One million grams. Yes. Yes. One million. No, don't wait. Ten thousand kilos. Ten thousand kilos. Yes. And this is chemical poisoning, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. President, majority leaders recognize again with the permission of Senator Gordon and uh, the, the sponsor. Perhaps uh, this particular issue also may be raised during the budget of PIDEA and the Dangerous Drugs Board later. Um, I remember one or two years ago this co they, they were asked about this and their, their uh, answer was uh, there is no court order. That's why um, Perhaps we can uh, pick the mind of uh, my fellow Letra Knight, uh, Justice uh, Peralta. If um, they will agree in amending, when if we do amend Republic Act 9165, we will remove the requirement for destroying. Pag nahuli, quantify, qualify, submit to the court, then destroy. destroy. Now, if there is no case, dahil yun ang sasabihin ng PIDEA ro sa iba, eh, walang kaso eh. Yan ang sagot nila. 
Abangan mo mamaya, yan ang isasagot. There's no case eh, kaya hawak namin. Hindi namin nadi-destroy. Hindi namin na dumami, tsaka namin nadi-destroy. Do you think uh, it will not be a hindrance if we amend the law and destroy whether there is a court case or not within a certain number of uh, yes. uh, hours? Uh, is, will that be acceptable? Uh, what do you think, uh, Justice uh, Peralta, through the sponsor, Madam uh, Your Sponsor? Honor, I, I, I would be happy to join. Uh, I'm sure the whole Senate would be happy to join that amendment right away. But we have to get the uh, uh, the feel from the Supreme Court whether they can indeed uh -huh. police it under present circumstances. Dapat masira lajan drug sender, let me ikut We now have two problems, Your Honor. Drugs are coming in through customs in wild abandon. And the other problem is the drugs are not being burnt. So you have a conflagration happening in our country right now. And if we don't do this, it will never stop. And kawawa naman ang tao na at yung police na lahat sila na involved sa patayan, eh talagang walang tigil yan. So Supreme Court has got to have something done in so far as the judge is concerned. By the way, to get to make sure that they give a return and to make sure that they can order the PIDEA. Why are you not prosecuting? If these drugs are there, why are you not prosecuting? The Department of Justice should also order their prosecutors to do so. And if they're not doing so, they're in the reelection of duty. With the permission of the gentleman and lady on the floor, um, drugs, very much like any prohibited item, is contraband. The law can so specify that any contraband, with or without a case, can and should be destroyed. My reservation is um, in asking for um, an opinion from the Supreme Court Justice, which I think he is well aware of and is in agreement. Perhaps the proper um, agency, as pointed out by our majority leader, would be PIDEA on this particular issue of destruction of contraband without a pending case. In order for us to be able to proceed with the budget of the judiciary, again with the indulgence of the gentlemen who have the floor. One minute suspension, Mr. Session President. Session is suspended. Session is resumed. Senator Gordon, Mr. President. Senator Gordon is recognized. Madam Chair, I would just like to ask, uh, there was a memorandum of agreement between the PIDEA or between the court and uh, PIDEA, if I'm not mistaken, on how to handle this. Whatever happened to that memorandum of agreement? Was that a memorandum of agreement? No. They are not familiar with any memorandum, Mr. President. They are nodding their heads, shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking, astounded. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. I am. So am I. <laughs> Is the court administrator here? The, or all. We will pass the budget, Your Honor. I mean, I, I'm not against the Supreme Court. But we would just like to make sure that we get that Mr. Memorandum. President, is a question a memorandum between PEDEA and the courts? The court, yes, Your Honor. There is no. There is Secretary... Former Secretary of Justice and former Senate President knows where all the dead bodies are buried in this country. So he knows that. You know, he knows wala that. Po silang, wala po silang memorandum na alam po nila. Well, maybe we should go back and, and check it. I mean, uh, anyway, sure we're going wala? to look into this matter. 
because this should really be looked at in a congressional, in a senatorial yes, investigation. Yes. I, I, don't, I didn't mean to intervene. I just wanted to make sure that we're all aware that there's a huge problem. Yes. And uh, if we don't, if we sleep on it, it's going to go away. And it's going to perpetrate this uh, evil upon our country. Mr. President, may I just clarify, the memorandum you're asking is initiated by the PDEA with the, with the courts? That was initiated, I believe. We're just checking the veracity. We do not know. There is none. No, no. Well, we will, we will check the veracity. I'm glad Maybe that you asked it so that it's brought to Maybe that's to what we want to know. Yes. The veracity of such a memorandum. And well, I'm sure there's yeah. something buried in the in the files there at the Supreme Court that we can find. Now, Your Honor, uh, we will, uh, Sen Senator, uh, the Majority Royal Leader and I have agreed that we should talk about this and find some uh, solution to it in a more uh, uh, lasting manner. But uh, if, you, if you will allow me, I just have one statement to make. I sit in the Judicial Bar Council, and in fairness to the Judicial Bar Council, we try as much as possible to be very fast because we know justice is very slow in this country. And for the, uh, for the uh, information of uh, the minority floor leader, I have personally been in discussion complaining about certain matters such as this, including a letter that was made to the Chief Justice concerning some judges who were issuing search warrants that resulted in the death of people in jail. And that is part of I consider as part of my duties as chairman of the Committee on Justice. So, in fairness to my colleagues there, uh, there's a voluminous number of people applying to be judges, and I don't know why. Some of them are very qualified, some of them are not very qualified, and there's a, a strenuous effort to try and find out who are the best that can be uh, recommended. And that is why uh, the process perhaps need to be changed eventually in the future if we find out too slow. Thank you. So I would like to thank, thank um, Senator Gordon thank for his you, intervention. Senator, Senator Soto is recognized thank for you, the Mr. responding motion he made earlier. Yes, Mr. President, I restate my motion. I move to close the interpolations and consider the budget of the judiciary, uh, namely the Supreme Court of the Philippines and the lower courts, Presidential Electoral Tribunal, the Sandigan Bay, the Court of Appeals, and the Court of Tax Appeals, deemed submitted for the body's consideration. There is a motion, hearing no objection, the motion of the majority leader to close the period of interpolation and consider as submitted the budget of the judiciary to include the Supreme Court, PET, Sandigan Bayan, Court of Appeals, and Court of Tax Appeals, as well as the lower courts, is hereby approved. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, before we call on the budget of the Office of the Ombudsman, uh, I move to suspend the session for a minute. Session is suspended for a minute.